you breathe in oxygen, what do you breathe out? Women. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to jail. You're going to jail. What do we have here? Looks like I have a little visitor. You may kiss my boots. Thank you, goddess. <laughs> you a simp! At this point, this simp stuff is actually genuinely making me mad. Because the reason why all these girls are running out here with their egos inflated is because of you sip bro. Y'all pissing me off. The reason why these girls run around here acting like they do, the same girls that you complaining about, complaining how these girls is, oh my god, this generation is so messed up, these women are doomed, this and that, whatever. Well, you are part of the problem. You are allowing them to get away with BS. So they keep running around thinking they're way more special than they truly are. And all the actually true, truly special women are being overshadowed now because of that. You're goddamn right. This is a limited edition Braille Playboy from 1977. The library- Damn! <laughs> Are you not gonna pay for my bill? No, I'm not gonna pay your bill. Really? You're not gonna pay? Like, what happened to all the good men out there? The gentleman who, who pays for the bills? You really not gonna pay, like not even half? No, I'm not paying anything, not even half the bill. Really, you should be ashamed of yourself. I cannot believe this right now. Why can't you just pay half? I don't understand. I like, don't even know you. Who, what do you who mean, are like, you? Why you gotta be so cheap? Like she, just pay for half. I don't even I, know you. Have, have oh we ever met? God. I don't know you. Do you take into account the fact that on average, a male full-time employee works longer hours than a female full-time employee? N not directly, no. But we annualise the part-time hours and those that have worked full-time but for part of the year. What about if you did on an hourly rate? What would be the gender hourly pay gap? We don't have that data set. You don't? Okay, so if a woman was working fewer hours but earning the same rate per hour as a man doing the same job, would that show up as a gender pay gap? Gotcha, bitch! You hate me, I hate you. You love me, I love you. Bring me flowers, I will deliver flowers. Huh? Look for me, I will look for you under your bed. <laughs> Real quick, do y'all believe in women's intuition? Yeah. Hell yeah. If you can feel that your man is cheating, why can't you tell when he's unhappy? Do you think that there is any validity to his statement? I mean, I, I definitely agree. I think you know, a lot of women are selfish in relationships. If we just gonna be honest in terms of their care, like they care about what they can benefit from, Ooh. right? But when it comes to making sure that that man is solidified, making sure that that man is taken care of, that doesn't become a problem until he stops giving her what she wants. Now it's, okay, what's going on with you? Why are you acting like this? Why are you doing this? But when he's doing everything that he's supposed to be doing for her, 
She she Ray Charles to it. You see what I'm saying? That's, that's, no, that's that's a real. That, I, I'm sorry, but that's real minimal, <laughs> and that's a small situation. That's not. Women actually can tell when their men are unhappy. We can absolutely tell that. And he's talking about intuition. You talking about a feeling and a whole subconscious process versus an observation. So those two don't even relate. Let's go and start that first. <laughs> oh, those two don't even relate. The vast majority of modern women are selfish, self-centered, and they only think about themselves. As long as their hedonistic wants are met, as long as this man is taking on expensive trips, expensive dates, buying expensive gifts, and giving her the lifestyle that she wants, that's all she cares about. She doesn't give a fuck about a man's happiness. And that's why there's this nonsense of happy wife, happy life. Because but the vast majority of women don't give a fuck about a man's happiness. And with regards to female intuition, that's also a lie. Way too many single mothers for this to be true. I was looking through, um, I was doing some research yesterday, and I was going through women's self-help books, <laughs> okay? Torture. Yeah, it is torture. Sorry, Myron. I know. <laughs> but I learned a golden nugget from reading women's self-help books. You know what female self-help books do? 95% of the content is reaffirming language for their current state. Love yourself. You're a queen. You're the best. You're an awesome person. Don't worry what other people think. A bunch of reaffirming information, okay? And then 5% critique. Let's flip it on the other side. Read a men's self-help book. Ooh. 95%. You're a bum. You're a loser. You don't make enough money. You're broke. You need to get your together. Don't want to suck your because you stink. And then 5% affirmation of their current situation. And it hit me. The reason why women behave the way that they do is that we quite literally have an entire economy, an entire industry. I'm going to call it the entire matrix tells women that they're special and gives them little to zero incentive to improve. It's facts. These are not facts. These facts are not facts. Women, listen to me. They don't fucking do that. <laughs> Is this your first time talking to women? Goddamn. Roofer. And how much do you make? About 70000 a year. I'm a dental assistant. How much do you make? Um, I make about $50,000 a year. Trade technician. How much do you make? I make around fifty. Construction worker? How much do you make? Uh, about 2500 a week. We are electricians. Union okay. electricians. How much do you make? We're actually both apprentices, so okay. we make a percentage of the AJ wages. They're actually up to 52 right now, but it's going up to 54 Four by hours? next year. Yes, ma'am. I'm a mechanic. How much do you make? Uh, about 100000 a year. I'm a hairstylist. I'm also a hairstylist. How much do you make? 160000 About 130000 A tattoo artist, full time. How much do you make? Weekly about uh, ten thousand dollars. I'm just a plumber. Yeah. Not just a plumber. You're a plumber. How much do you make? Around seventy-five k a year. I repair suspended concrete. How much do you make? About twenty-seven dollars an hour. I'm a nail tech. I make about seven thousand a month. I'm a union iron worker. How much do you make? I make twenty-five fifty an hour. I'm a tattoo artist. Very cool. How much do you make? Probably around like 250k. I'm a maintenance technician. How much do you make in your current role? Role, I make about 70. I am a journeyman in local 1044, which is glazers and glass workers. How much do you make in your role? In your pocket, it's over $50 an hour, but the total package is like 100. I'm a dog groomer. I'm gonna make about 90,000 this year. Hey, if you were to cheat, how would you do it? I'd probably be like, I have like this like club or meeting or maybe like a class, like a gym class at like 5 p.m. on Wednesday. And then I would just like go see the person. Hey, if you were to cheat, how would you do it? Text them on Snapchat because it don't automatically say. So they really can't say what y'all was texting about. Hey, if you were to cheat, how would you do it? Um, I already did. So like, I don't even know. <laughs> hey, if you were to cheat, how would you do it? I'm a big t goth GF, so I have a lot of guys in my DMs anyway, so I mean, message one of them back. Hey, if you're the cheat, how would you do it? I would just put my location on my iPad, you feel me? And then I, I do the, you know, go where I need to go. <laughs> if you're the cheat, how would you do it? I'd pause my Snapchat location, and then they think I'm asleep, and I'd just go do my thing. <laughs> how would you do it? I'd create a Google Excel sheet. I could pick a different one every single day. It wouldn't even be a secret. If she cheats. 
she belongs to the streets. 